We've been playing with these the same lineup for our whole career. Um, uh, Nick, one of our singers, and Chad, our drummer, I played with in high school in a band, uh, in diff two different bands, actually. Uh, we did covers, some various uh, modern acts at the time, I guess. Uh, and then we started to dabble in a few songs that Nick had written when uh, we kind of went our own way, got back together, regrouped, and then kind of formed as this unit, uh, 311. Now, we're together in Omaha, where we're from. Grew up there playing music, and uh, that's where we started. We kind of got a, you know, I guess a good two years in playing together there, and then we moved to Los Angeles trying to find a record deal. Um, and that's when I kind of start, when I first sort of heard about PRS. I know maybe Peanut uh, taught bass lessons in Omaha, and I forget if there were some, maybe a couple of them in Omaha out there, but I didn't see anyone really play one until, I think, Carlos Santana. And maybe even Sting, or somebody had really random like Sting or somebody I had seen one. And I was like, oh, cool. And we finally got a record deal, finally got a budget to, to buy some gear, and, and I needed a guitar with humbuck and pickups. Still run out of the show for me now. I think I'm going to get some marvelous things. What else? But anyways, I needed something with humbuckers, and the the guitar store I went to there had PRS and, and I played like Les Paul and some others maybe that had back then the, there was a lot of guitars and you know they were putting humbuckers and Strat style guitars all these different things but I I had never played a PRS never seen one I really liked the vibe of it and then uh, so I ended up getting that it sounded great it had coil tap it had uh, so, a lot of different kind of tones for recording everything so um, I really love that guitar, it's great. I ended up losing it in the fire, along with this, another, my second PRS guitar, um, which is unfortunate, but it was a C Bolton, I believe, the first one I got. Uh, but ever since then, I was sold, you know, I used that on the first record we made, signed to Capricorn Records Music. Uh, from then on, it's always been a PRS on every 311 recording, so. Um, and over the years, it's kind of changed from a maple top to the, my old blue one to now the new blue one. And, um, but yeah, I just, you know, I've always been a fan of being able to just have one guitar, not have to do a lot of guitar changes, being able to play reggae on it, being able to play hard rock, just high gain with an octave pedal and switch to clean with reverb and delay and dreamy phaser or something all in one song and have the guitar be able to handle those changes too. And the, the PRS has always been there with me to be able to do all that stuff. And so uh, it's been great. And uh, this new guitar is wonderful to see. You know, it's been, boy, almost getting towards 18 years. Maybe something since I, my first one. I can't, boy, it's been a long time, maybe 18 years. And um, But to finally have one here that, that we been talking about for a long time and finally have it in my hands is really cool. Um, I don't know, maybe it's been a little over an hour since you guys let me, that you brought it here for, to me and I haven't stopped playing it. We was just laughing about that. It's really fun to play. It feels great. I haven't even plugged this particular one in yet. The prototype sounded good when we plugged it into the studio however many months back and so I know I'm sure it's going to sound great. But, uh, it might play even nicer than my main ride, so that's a great sign. Uh, but it's just, uh, it's great to see it. You know, I've been, uh, I've been talking about it a long time, and just, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's great to see it.